Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss Class Seven Science Chapter One, Nutrition in Plants. Question and answers. So, first question is, why do organisms need to take food? As you all know, food is needed by all organisms for many purposes. The main function of food is to help in growth. Food provides energy for movements such as running, walking, or raising our arm. Food is also needed for replacement and repairing damaged parts of body. Food gives us resistance to fight against diseases and protect us from infections. Now, question number two: Distinguish between a parasite and a saprotroph. What is a parasite? Yes, parasite feeds on a living organism. The organism on which it feeds is called the host. Next is saprotrophs. What is saprotroph? They feed on dead and decaying organisms. They do not feed on a living organism. Now, next question, question number three. How would you test the presence of starch in leaves? The presence of starch in leaves can be tested by iodine test. When you remove chlorophyll from leaf by boiling it in an alcohol. And then put two drops of iodine solution. Its color changes to blue. That indicates the presence of starch. Now, next question. Give a brief description of the process of synthesis of food in green plants. Solution is: Green plants use a process called photosynthesis to prepare their food. The process is as follows: Water is taken from the roots of the plant. And it is transported to the leaves of the plant. Carbon dioxide from the air enters the leaves through pores called stomata. This diffuses the cell containing chlorophyll. Water molecule is broken down into hydrogen and oxygen with the help of sunlight. Hydrogen combines with oxygen and hydrogen to form <coughs> carbohydrates. Photosynthesis is represented by the following equation. Here, carbon dioxide plus water, sunlight by chlorophyll is equal to carbohydrate plus oxygen. Now, next question. So, with the help of sketch, that plants are the ultimate source of food or energy. Here, you can see uh, this is a plant, and uh, the chlorophyll is present in leaf. Water and minerals are taken by the roots. Oxygen is uh, taken out from the plant. Carbon dioxide is taken in by the plant, and sun is the light energy of the plant. Now, then, fill in the blanks. Green plants are called dash since they synthesize their own food. Yes, we have read in our previous video. Green plants are autotroph. Let's check. Yes, green plants are the autotrophs. Okay, next, the food synthesized by plants is stored as yes, it is stored as a starch. Let's check. Yes, it is starch. In photosynthesis, solar energy is absorbed by the pigment called. Where does the solar energy absorb? Yes, in the chlorophyll. Here we have seen see chlorophyll. Now let's check. Yes. Now, during photosynthesis, plants take in oxygen. No, plants take in <coughs> carbon dioxide and release oxygen. Yes. Let's check here. Carbon dioxide release oxygen. Now, next question. Question number seven. Name the following. <coughs> A parasitic plant. With yellow, slender, and branch stem. What is it? Let's check. It is cascuta or amaryllis. Next question: A plant that is partly autotrophic. What is it? Pitcher plant. The pores through which leaves exchange gases is stomata. Next question: Question number eight. Take the correct answer. Cascuta is an example of parasite. The plant which traps and feeds on insect is cascuta, china rose, pitcher plant, or rose. 
इट इज पिक्चर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर नाइन मैच द आइटम्स गिवन इन कॉलम वन विद दो इन कॉलम टू सो वेट अ मिनट सॉरी Let's move on that question. Yes, chlorophyll. Where is what is chlorophyll? It is present in leaf. <coughs> Sorry, nitrogen. Where is nitrogen in rhizobium bacteria? Because cuta. Here we have discussed it is a parasite. Animals. Animals are heterotrophs. And insect it is which a plant? Let's check. Yes, we are absolutely correct. Now, next, when false carbon dioxide is released during photosynthesis, true or false? Comment down. It is false. Plants which synthesize their food are called saprotrophs. What is it? True or false? Let's check. It is false. The product of photosynthesis is not a protein. It is true or false? It is true. Solar energy is converted into chemical energy during photosynthesis. This true or false? Yes, it is true. Now choose the correct option from the following. Which part of the plant takes in carbon dioxide from the air for photosynthesis? It is stomata. Now question number twelve. Choose the correct option from the following. Plants take carbon dioxide from the atmosphere mainly through their leaves. Now thirteen question. Why do farmers grow many fruits and vegetable crops inside large greenhouses? What are the advantages to the farmers? Fruits and vegetable crops are grown in large greenhouses because it protects crops from external climate <coughs> conditions and provides suitable temperature for the growth of crops. What are the advantages of the farmer? Advantages of To the farmer, while growing fruits and vegetable crops inside greenhouses, are it protects crops from diseases and adverse climate conditions. It protects crops from winds and rodents. Here, our NCERT solution is complete. If you like the video, please like the button and share as you can, and subscribe and click on the bell button. to never <coughs> miss update